It's kicking it live with Jessica Stelzer, Jen Gomez, Will Reynolds, Maria Manessi, Annie Ranke, Ava Toll, Max Buckley, Ellie Hartram, Alex Chris, Tad Fountain, Sydney Lake, Garrett Jepson, Rebecca Murray, Peter Zelnick. Happy Friday, Bears! Coming up on the show, we look at draw chalk drawings unlike the ones we drew as kids and some fun on the new track. It's just shy of 40 degrees right now and it's not much warmer inside. Staff members received an email from Mr. Belk about the chilly classrooms. He thanked teachers and students for their patience, for their patience during <laughs> unfavorable classroom conditions. They discovered damage to the boilers that heats the building and they are working to fix the situation. If you're feeling a little bit sleepy this morning, you're not alone. Ohio lawmakers proposed a new bill this week having all schools start at 8.30 or later. California passed similar legislation earlier this week. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that middle school and high schools start at 8.30 a.m. or later to improve students' academics. Throughout the years, the Woodshop has made some contributions to the high school. I took a closer look. If you may not have noticed, Upper Arlington High School has a Woodshop located in the Art Hall at Room 174. The woodworking class has made a significantly large amount of contributions to the school and for the new stadium. We've just made some stuff for the WARL and the sports facility to help lift the speakers, not the speakers, the cameras up above the level so they can film better during the game. We also help with the theater department working with making, uh, helping with stages and or some props once in a while, uh, usually the little theater shows. We used to make the uh, stands for the homecoming. That was the last year for that this year. Uh, just you know, in a variety of small projects, we do frames for the art department and other cut boards for art students, make other things like that. And it's not just for the school. They have done some stuff for the community as well. Currently right now we're doing a project that we've done for about 20 years with the city where we drill holes in the Buckeyes that the kids in, in the city park make necklaces with uh, for one of the fall festival days. With the contributions the Woodshop has made so far, who knows what will happen in the future. This has been Peter Zelnick reporting from the WARL. The Woodshop students even created blocks for our staff for better filming at the MARV. Thanks Woodshop. Mentoring and more, an after-school program between UAHS and Barrington students is looking for volunteers. The program meets on Tuesdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Contact Emma Berlin at emma.berlin at tvml.org for more information. The Barrington is conducting their annual dodgeball tournament on Sunday, October 27th. Teams can sign up through scanning the QR codes posted around the school. The cost is $12 for a team of six and a portion of the proceeds to go to Make a Noise Ovarian Cancer Research. The championship game will be played at the pep rally. Students, pre-sale tickets for tonight's game are available in, for $5 in the athletic office. Now to Ellie and Rebecca with sports. Hey guys, welcome to sports. Tournament season is in full swing. Currently first in the state, girls water polo has been working hard in the morning and afternoon in preparation for states this weekend. Girls tennis is currently top four in the state and are currently competing in team states Sunday at Reynoldsburg. Ella Hazelbaker and Wendy Shi are competing in individual states today. Field hockey and volleyball had their first tournament games yesterday. After a tough fight, field hockey lost against Old Tangy Orange and volleyball lost against Lancaster. Great season, Bears. Football had an exciting game against Davidson Friday, who used to be coached by our new coach, Scally. The Bears won 10-7, bringing their record up 4-3. and three. They will play tonight against Marysville. Don't forget to wear your favorite jersey to the game. In addition to all the construction changes to the MARV, the track has gotten a new look. Ava Toll reports. The new track is being paved starting this week. The project is separated into six sections, and each section takes 24 hours to drive. So far, the back area near the scoreboard and the visitor side are finished. The full track will be completed by mid-October. 
For the football cheerleaders, the first two home games were on the concrete track, and it's changed the way they performed at games. So a lot of cheerleaders don't feel comfortable tumbling on like the cement and the concrete. So it kind of sucks that the piece of the track that's being done last is right in front of the student section because that's where we cheer on Friday nights. So a lot of girls don't feel comfortable doing like their back handsprings or their back tucks because it's not the normal surface that we tumble on. The area where the cheerleaders perform in front of the student section is scheduled to be paved last. This has been Ava Toll reporting for the WARL. The track is complete and the cheerleaders can begin tumbling safely at tonight's game. Player of the week goes out to golf bear Emily Hummer who shot a 73 and was runner-up medalist at districts. They are competing in states today and tomorrow at OSU Gray Course. Cross country OCC champions were last Saturday where girls placed fourth in the conference and boys placed second. Both teams are running districts tomorrow at Hilliard Derby. Boys soccer's second tournament, second state tournament game was Thursday at Old Tangy Berlin where they won 1-0. Girls soccer finished their postseason Wednesday. Congrats to senior Elena Schildemeyer who committed to University of Virginia for lacrosse. Good luck Elena next year as a Cavalier. And now to Max and Jen with Community News. Welcome to Community News. On October 15th, the primary presidential Democratic debate was held at Otterbein University. The debate was sponsored by CNN and the New York Times. Twelve candidates debated, and 8.3 million watched the three-hour long event on television. We'll have more on the debate next week. Jones Middle School's fall production, Mary Poppins, debuted last night. There is another show tonight at 7 and shows on Saturday and Sunday at 2. Tickets are $10 and can be purchased at the door or online at jonespto.com. The Easton Mall puts on many events for patrons throughout the year. Chalk, Chalk the Block is one of their most popular events, Ava Toll reports. The 8th annual Chalk the Block event at Easton Mall was on October 5th and 6th. Chalk the Block is a chalk drawing event where the streets are closed off for the artists to draw and the public to watch. Artists from all around Ohio come to draw anything they please. Louisa Heyer has been drawing with chalk for a while now. I got into chalk drawing um, about five years ago. I saw it online, thought it was really cool. I had never tried to do large scale things before and thought, why not? It won't be permanent, so when the rain comes, it washes away. So even if it's awful, it doesn't matter. This year, the event added an eight foot chalk cube, a kid's chalk drawing activity, and live music throughout the day. This has been Ava Toll reporting for the WARL. You can visit chalk the chalktheblog.com for more information and artist names. The 2019 Columbus Marathon is on Sunday. The route passes through South Arlington between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Residents should expect street closures and traffic delays. Now to special reports with Will at the Marv. Currently I'm standing in front of the new track that was finished yesterday. They have been working on this track for four weeks. As you can see, the track is now black, which is different from our past red one. Now our cheerleaders can finally show off their tumbling skills. Uh, I, uh, the Stan Project is hosting their second annual movie in the market tonight after the home football game. Everyone is invited to grab a blanket and enjoy the movie The Ring. I'm here with Gabrielle Shell and Susie Lynn, who are members of the Stan Project. Susie, what, what, uh, how does the in the Marvel relate to the Stan Project. Stan Project is a group of students who like to get out and try new things, so tonight we're hosting a movie to get everyone in speaking mode. Gabrielle, what's happening at the movie tonight? Tonight you're going to have the chance to watch a movie with your friends and get some free food and some awesome raffle prizes. And remember that during fourth and fifth period, there'll be Stan Project members um, passing out wristbands, and if you don't get one, it's okay, you can get one at the game. Thank you guys so much. Everyone, make sure to grab a blanket and get comfy after the home football game. Now back to Maine with Ava and Peter. As second quarter begins, Alex, take a look at just how much students have been learning. You go, man. Wait, are we good? <laughs> George Washington was the first president. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th. What is Trump? 44. 45th. 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 Oh, the 50th? The 4th? <laughs> The 20th? Uh, the 45th. Name the seven continents. Oh, um, Alaska, Antarctica. Oh, oh it's <laughs> Russia. Wait, no, it's Europe, Russia. Asia, China, Africa, Antarctica. Antarctica. There's seven. Shoot, um. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, 
and um, Australia. Antarctica. Antarctica. Frankfurt is the capital of what state? It's the capital of Germany, right? <laughs> <laughs> Vermont? I don't know. Minnesota. <laughs> oh, Kentucky. What is the 19th Amendment? Is it something? Oh, it's pr something about prohibition. It's uh, oh, the 19th Amendment. <sighs> Pass. <laughs> this has been Alex Chris for the WARL. Looks like our students need a little review on American history. On Monday, there will be a, Dila, a Dia de los Muertos party after school in the Global Language Hallway from 315 to 345. There will be food, music, and crafts. On the next show, we look at Halloween events. That's all we have for the show today. Have a great weekend, Bears.